Hello Year 2, we are back with another maths challenge for you this week. But first, to get our brains warmed up, we are going to have a little bit of a game of double off. Now I know that you are all amazing at double off Year 2 and I needed to get my brain warmed up too, so I had a little game of it with the teachers. Shall we see who won? Mrs Haynes? Mrs Wilson? Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Hmm. Double 15. 30. Th oh, man, she beat me. Hmm. Double 12. 24. What again? Double 3. 6. Double 4. Mm. 9. No. Double 2. Uh, four. A few moments later. Today we are going to have a look at solving some missing number problems. Now it sounds tricky, but don't you worry because stay watching and you'll find out how to do it really, really easily. I've got the number sentence. 45 add something equals 78. Now, I could try and work it out by counting on my fingers, but that'll take me a long time. I could have a good guess. No, there must be a better way. I think I remember what I have to do. I have to make a new number sentence, and that is called the inverse. So with these two numbers, I can make a new number sentence. Let me show you what I'm I have to do the opposite, which is subtraction. All I have to do is make a new number sentence. Put 78, because it's the biggest number, subtract my other number, 45, equals, and now my blank number will be at the end. So now I've got a new number sentence, I can work it out easily because that just looks normal now. The blank space is now the answer where it usually is. 78 subtract 45. Now hang on, I'm pretty sure year two that you did subtraction last week with Miss Lloyd so it should be fresh in your brains. I watched it too to make sure that it was fresh in my brains. So let's see, we're going to write T-O for tens and ones. I'm going to draw seven tens and I'm going to draw eight ones. Now I'm not going to draw this number. What am I going to do again? Oh, thanks year two. I'm going to cross it out. I'm going to get rid of four tens and I'm going to get rid of five ones. Now all I have to do is count them up. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So the missing number must be 33. Are you ready for a challenge? You are going to have a go at doing 31 add something equals 44. But I want you to think about those steps to success really, really carefully. Think what operation will you need, addition or subtraction? Then you're going to need to make a new number sentence, draw your chips and your peas like normal, and then don't forget to check back. Pause the video now and have a go. Here's your check. You should have got the answer 13. Did you get it correct? Well done, year two. Now I've got the number sentence 68 subtract something equals 23. Now, do you think I need to add 68 and 23 to get the answer? Hmm, that doesn't seem right because if I added 23 to 68, my answer would definitely be bigger than 23. And I know that when I subtract, my answer always gets smaller. Oh, I've got it. Let me show you. Now with this one, we don't need to swap the subtraction for addition. We keep it the same, but instead we swap 
23 with our missing number. And now we just have a new subtraction sentence. So I've rearranged my number sentence to make a brand new one. Subtraction's a little bit different though, as you saw, because instead of swapping this to addition, I just move this number to my blank gap. So I've got 68 subtract 23. And then, just like normal, you work it out as a subtraction number sentence. So I'm going to draw my six tens and my eight p's. I'm going to cross off two tens, three ones, and I'm going to count what I've got left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 42, 44, 45. Hang on, that doesn't look like 45. What mistake have I made here too? Oh, you're right. I've swapped my ones and my tens around and I've written 54. Silly Miss Hammond, 45. I'm just going to double check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So 68 subtract 45 equals 23. Are you ready to have a go at one? Here's your challenge year two. 79 subtract something equals 31. This is your turn. Have a go. Remember those steps to success. With subtraction, we just swap the numbers instead of swapping subtraction to addition. Pause the video and have a go now on a scrap piece of paper or in your home learning book. Here's your check. You should have got 48 as the answer. Well done year two. You're doing so well. I'm a bit confused now year two because my missing number isn't where it usually is. It's usually a number, then additional subtraction, then the missing number, and then the answer. But it's moved. Do you think that matters? Pause the video now and tell a grown-up or somebody else in your home if you think that that matters if the number is in a different place. And if you don't think it matters, why? What did you think? I've had a think about it and actually I don't really think it matters where the missing number is, if it's there or there. I still have to do the same. Let me show you. So you still make a new number sentence. You just might have to move it a bit differently than before. But I've still got my biggest number at the start because the biggest number always goes at the start when we subtract. I've swapped my addition for subtraction and I'm using my only other number that I've got left. So I've got 49 subtract 27 and then we just work it out like normal. So I draw my four tens because I've got four tens. I've drawn nine ones because I've got nine ones. And now I don't draw this number, I cross it out. So I'm gonna cross out two tens and I'm gonna cross out seven ones. And then count them up, 10, 20, 22. So the missing number is 22. Easy. Have an hour turn now. I want you to try and do this one with me. We're going to have one more practice before I set you some of your own challenges to do. So pause the video. If you haven't already got it with you, grab a piece of paper and a pencil, or if you've got a whiteboard, grab a whiteboard or anything you can write on. If you've got your home learning books that we sent home with you, go and grab those quickly and I'll be waiting for you here. Are you ready? Okay, I've got 57 add something equals 81. So write that down. 57 add something equals 81. Now, remember 
our steps to success, we've got to think carefully about what operation we need to use to work it out. Now, we're not going to count on, we're not going to have a guess, we're going to work it out. We've got to do the opposite of addition. And what's the opposite of addition? It is subtraction. Well done. Okay, so we have got to now make a new number sentence so that we can solve it. Remember, you could, like I did, cut up some pieces of paper with your numbers on so that you can move them easily. I find that helps me sometimes because it makes my brain see it a bit clearer. So, pause the video and have a go at making the new number sentence, see what you get. Did you get it? 81 subtract 57 equals, and now our missing number is back where it usually is after the equal sign. So we've got 81 subtract 57. I want you to pause the video now and have a go at working it out. Don't forget, write T-O to remind you, and don't draw the second number, always cross it out. Pause the video and have a go. Year two, I'm a bit confused. I wonder if you could help me because I got to cross out seven ones and I didn't have to do that on any of my other ones. What do I have to do? Oh, I think I can hear you. Oh, that's right. I've got to cross off another 10. Don't forget to cross the 10 off because otherwise your answer is going to be 10 too big. And I've got to replace it with 10 peas. Now I can cross off my seven ones. Sorry, Yitzhi, I'll let you get back to working your answer out. How did you get on year two? I got the answer 24. Did you get the same? I think you're ready for a challenge all of your own now, year two. Here are your challenges, year two. There are three questions for Chili one, three questions for Chili two, and two questions for Chili three. Have a go. You might want to have a go at all of them if you're feeling extra whizzy. Don't forget to send all of your amazing work to our year two email address. I'm sure all of the teachers would love to see what work you have been doing. Here is the extra challenge. There were 16 birds in the garden. Some more flew into the garden. In total, there were 32 birds in the garden. How many flew in? Think about all of the skills that we've just learnt today. What would your number sentence be? See if you can work it out. That's the end year two. Thank you so much for joining us again this week for some maths challenges. We have absolutely loved seeing all of your hard work that your grown-ups have been sending to us on our emails. You have been doing some amazing work. I am super impressed. We miss you all so, so much. And we can't wait to see you when we eventually get back to the classroom, whenever that will be. Keep up the hard work. Remember to check out our Year 2 playlist. We've got lots of challenges coming for you every single week, as well as our bedtime stories. See you soon. Bye.